Hi, good day everybody. This is a new room from TryHack Me <coughs> Basic Static Analysis. This one I think it's also follow up from other rooms in TryHack Me regarding malware, malware analysis. And I think I'm really uh, need to prepare for the next exam that coming from TCM Security regarding malware engineer. In any case, okay, this is pretty stick. I think this room I did before. Uh, yeah, uh, intro to malware introduction. This one is done. Uh, learning of how to set up the lab. And if the case, okay. Start the machine, virtual machine. Flare. This is most famous. I think there was another room we use Flare for it. Basically, has all the softwares. Uh, all the software you need for malware analysis are here. Uh, Remnex, I never use this one. We use this one for past uh, Trihack me rooms. I don't think we used this one before. A Remix, so uh, I don't think I used it. Uh, okay, string search. Uh, oh, basic string search. This is a string, it's when no command in Linux. It's also on Windows, I think. Uh, Windows also have it. String binary. Several tool of FDM this for example here using PE Studio. Let's try P E Studio. P E Studio. For example here he's using his uh, which one he is. We can open any one. Uh, This PC, uh, desktop, the folder is malware. Let's open the first one. Okay, this is the one. Uh, strings, wait for it. Libraries, version is analyzing. Let's see, does it detect strings or not? Resources, and oh, that's it, strings. As the characters for the malware. Any case, then obfuscated strings, and that's what they give us. This floss, floss is used for the to detect that. I see. In case, okay, okay. Let's start now. This room. The question is: uh, in the desktop, in the attached VM, there is a directory malware with one to six use floss to the identify obfuscated string found in a sample name two five six which of this sample contain the string dbgview.x okay let's try let's get the uh, the command prompt we go to the desktop now Command is forced to search for obsessed string in binary. Path to the binary. So let's use this command floss no static strings desktop mal. They said to use two five six. Let's try number two. Zero. Let's try number five. Number five. This one take a bit long. Flop decode zero string. Let's try number six. The question is dbvview.x e dbview. Where is dbview? It seems you find something. db db dbg dbg. EMV code. It seems this is the one, but I'm looking for this DBG view. Code flow invalid function. Let's, let, let him finish. Uh, Environment warning, hard flow invalid stream function. Flow decoded one string. <coughs> Okay, Mr. Floss, but I don't see where is this. 
which of this sample contain the string? Use floss. Yes, floss. Decode one string. Oops. Oh, this is DB view. You can see it's all of this. So it's number six. Okay, now <coughs> fingerprinting malware. Common use method to calculate file hashes. Of course, this is the hash file MD5 SHA1 SHA256. It's well known that 256 is the, should use this one or a little bit of a collusion. There's a, a low probability, but it's always recommend to use the SHA256 sum. Uh, you can and then they have impasse. Impasse, we, we already have this open. We can see the impasse here. Impasse, that's the impasse. Stand for import hash. Import the function takes to import from all the file. Uh, and this one is to have sim to, to it's used to have uh, to detect similar <coughs> malware file with the same import in the same order and then we have this the fuzzy hash ss deep uh, it's also <coughs> this is a way to detect similarity between different malware files we'll do now practice about this Let's say in the sample local index top, which of the sample have the same impasse as 5.3? So, see we can't open it. Mini file, let's start. Let's get file, open file, file 3. Let's see, let's remember the impasse for 5.3. Can we copy this? Let's see. Copy line. Let's get the uh, text notepad. So this is the number, the 5-3. So the question is, let's see if the impasse for... I know why this one doesn't open another one. You can't. Let's, uh, in any case, let's try. File, open, two. Impasse. Copy line. So, number two. It's not. Let's get number three. So one, two, let's try open number three. Number three, oh, I think number three is the same as MP, uh, the first one. Copy line. Number three. F three nine seven eight F three nine. So, so the same as. Oh, it's my mistake. I just opened the number three. Uh, did we open number one? I think we didn't open one. Let's say open number one. Ironically, this is number one. Copy line. This is number three, that's what we have, that's number one. Number one, five, three, nine, it's the same as number three. So the number one is the same as number three. Then we have SSD, is another one, but the one description. Uh, let's see. Using SSS deep, what is the percentage mass for the above mentioned files? Okay, so we can have it here. Minus N minus R minus D. 
then we have the directory is malware what the hell happened here uh, no, no, oof, I forgot uh, 2.4 uh, sorry guys sd minus n minus r minus d we do recursive for our direct email way so all of them and that's the percentage much malware 93 percent 93 no signature base signature base this is the same as uh, yara yara there is in, uh, a room in try hack me to for yara you can try to have a video for it too uh, okay virus total and all of that kappa kappa we used it before in try hack me uh, Okay, we can check up our help. Uh, interesting, you can analyze malware one. We used this before. Now, let's see what it, our job is to use for malware four. Let me do this. So, kappa, I want to use it on malware four. Okay. It might take some time. Let's uh, jump to the next question. The P header, the program we use it also again in another room in uh, Try Hack Me. Uh, we, we can have it here is P header. No, no P Studio. You can get P Studio. I thought it's an uh, option right pen. The packet acceptable. Okay, let's open number four. Sorry. Open sample number four, the PCD, which library is blacklist? The, blo the libraries, uh, let him finish his calculation, he's doing his calculation. Libraries, libraries, where is it? Hold on a minute. Uh, this is the library. The blacklist libraries is here. It's uh, RPC RT4.dll then what does this DLL do? Description, that's a description. Remote procedure current time. Copy description. Copy the description. Now we go back to this one. Kappa is still running. Uh, this is two question with this and then he said what MBC behavior observed and then what does address infection and then he said using PowerShell will help avoid cutting off and then uh, use verbus so the first one we didn't use verbus so let's do that uh, how many match for NTVM ex tec execution techniques were identified in the sample NTVM NTVM let's look for the NTVM NT what NT NT analysis NTVM detection. There's the one. It's 86. 86 match. Then does the sample have the capability to suspend or resume thread? Suspend and resume thread. Suspend or resume thread. Uh, delete. Pause. Link. Suspend thread. You see, it has it. Suspend thread, so it's yes. Then the question, what is the MBC behavior? The MBC is this once. Uh, you can have the behaviors and all of that. 
malware is not my strongest point, but I'm still learning through TCM security. There's a course that is very good. MBC behavior observed in MBC observed anti static analysis. Uh, anti static analysis, where is it? MBC behavior anti static analysis is this one. Okay, now let's do the, the last one. You know, you talk about PowerShell, not sure why we need it, but let's try that. Kappa uh, got used to it, uh, so I used it a couple of times. ERI is another room. Uh, here he said, use the verbose mode and try to use copy the stuff because with Vermus Boom we'll have a lot of lines and now we can't just scroll up the top like that the line will get cut so we need to convert it to why is it slow now we don't need this one we're done with it okay Kappa minus VV Vermus the, the start we know number 4 the middleware number 4 redirected to file.txt and now let's wait for it I think the first round he already did the first one so so now after it's finished oh it's a bit slow okay uh, this is the pseudo for number which which file we open number 1 let me see if this one can give us anything if I open number 4, what it will say? File and number 4 I don't think this one will give you the MBC behavior, it's only for uh, P headers uh, DOS headers Rich header Directories Resource version Debug Uh, libraries, that's the, the, the blacklist one function, a lot of them uh, ok ok, it's 59.60% let's wait I don't think you'll find it here this is what we said, disassembly evasion, disassembly evasion, I saw it here, disassembly evasion uh, disassembly evasion, anti-static, B12 uh, anti-static analysis B12 disassembly evasion but you can't have this one argument obfuscation condition VBA sampling, I don't know any case, let's see, 98% 99 let's see what he's doing, it's finished, let's open the file file then the question said search for that static things file check http states code and then look for the function at function at so this is the address oops and then conclusion this code and all that Thank you everybody, hope you like the video, I'm trying my best, malware is not really my strongest point. Uh, if, uh, thank you, please like and subscribe. If Thank you very much, have a, have a good night.